the first time in his presidency. President George W. Bush visited a mosque after September 11th. You said of President Obama, quote, he's always pitting people against each other. So I'm curious, how are the two visits different, and would you visit a mosque as president? I would, but that's not the, the issue. My problem with what he did is he continues to put out this fiction that there's widespread, systematic discrimination against Muslim Americans. First of all, let's recognize this. If you go to a national cemetery in this country, you will see stars of David's and crosses, but you'll also see crescent moons. There are brave men and women who happen to be Muslim Americans who are serving this country in uniform and who have died in the service of this country. And we recognize that and we honor that. But by the same token, we face a very significant threat of homegrown violent extremism. We need to have strong, positive relationships in the Islamic communities in this country so they will identify and report this activity, especially mosques, for example, that are participating not just in hate speech, but in inciting violence and in taking acts against us. And I do believe it is important also to recognize, you want to talk about religious discrimination in America? Well, I don't think Barack Obama is being, so, is being sued by any Islamic groups, but he is being sued by the Little Sisters of the Poor. We are facing in this country Christian groups and groups that hold traditional values who feel and in fact are being discriminated against by the laws of this country that try to force them to violate their conscience. Senator Rubio, thank you. Martha.